Um, so, hey you guys, um, so um, this is a little comparison video between the HF Armory gloves um, that are out of Ukraine, I believe, um, and uh, the uh, Spes Heavy's classic uh, gauntlet glove that we're all familiar with. Um, so, uh, we got these in as kind of like um, just to see what was up with them, that kind of thing. Um, ordered two pairs the small version and the large version um, and just like right out of the box to say they are extremely true to their sizing chart which is um, really uh, a big deal if you're used to dealing with uh, the classic Spes Heavy gloves. Um, now typically I wear the extra small and the Spes Heavy gloves. I have a fairly small hand and um, that's kind of been my option. I'm also an artist, um, so keeping my hands safe is definitely a priority for me. Um, so um, the HF Armory sizing chart goes from between uh, the pinky and the index finger here across the hand uh, for the sizing chart, which is kind of interesting. Um, and I find that I found that um, it's extremely well fitting comparatively. Um, now, I've tried on the large and the small of the HF Armory gloves, and the large of these is actually smaller than the extra small Spes Heavy, which is kind of hard to believe, honestly, um, but it was mind-boggling um, when I put my hand in these and they actually fit, and then I put my hand in the large and I was like, how does this even work? Um, so, uh, classic Spes Heavy glove. You've got the uh, new, newer upgraded foam ones, or they now have a, uh, a full uh, plastic cup thumb. Um, the inside of them is this faux leather um, that's typically um, split with the fingers. So two fingers are on one side, two fingers are on the other. Um, you've got this generic dome shape um, for the whole glove. And this shape is typically similar to the left and the right glove. It's not necessarily specific except for this plate on top. Um, and then you've of course got your uh, softer cuff um, with your four individual hard plates that are in the center. Um, there is no protection, um, hard protection in the wrists on the Spes Heavies. You've got this um, thinner piece of heavier duty leather and then it's just the um, material that the glove is made out of. Um, that's a basic breakdown of these small heavies. Um, and you can see kind of uh, the fit on me. Um, they do fit well, but my fingertips, um, typically if I push down on them, you can see they do come outside of the protection of the top of the cuff here. And for a lot of people, that's a problem amongst all the different sizes of the Spes Heavies, um, because I've seen a lot of people get damage to the internal of the fingers. And that was a solution with the finger cups um, that Purple Heart supplies um, as supplying a solution um, to keeping the fingers safe inside of these heavier gauntlets. Um, so like I said, this is a extra small sizing of the Spes Heavy gloves. I can show you guys on the inside there. I don't know if you can see it, but that is the extra small size of the Spes Heavies. Um, so now to the HF Armory gloves. And you can see I've done a little bit of modification to these. Now these come with Give me one second. These come with a hard cuff, uh, typically right on the end here, um, and then uh, everything else here. So for me, because I am small, uh, my hands are smaller, um, dexterity is definitely something I would much rather than to have a very hard cuff. I also personally wear forearm guards with my gear, so it's not really that. Um, big of a deal for my forearms to remove this cuff, um, but I went ahead and removed this cuff personally. Um, it had four rivets, so I just removed the four rivets, and I made my own soft cuff that is very much styled to the soft cuff on the Spes Heavies. Um, there's three individual plates on there, and it is just riveted back on the same that um, this one is. You can see on the inside there's some rivets on the inside and I simply just followed the same specs here and made a soft cuff. So that's that's the difference uh, between what we're seeing here with the, just the unaltered style of the HF Armory gloves and mine. 
So, um, let's start here. So, difference. Um, this top plate is a different shape. You will see that there isn't the upward cupping that you have with the Spes Heavies, which is nice because it protects um, the deflection can only go this way or to go straight into the hand. Um, it doesn't really leave room for uh, the finger hitting, which is nice. You can also see the difference in the size of them just straight off the bat is uh, a pretty big percentage, um, I feel, just in the difference in size. Remember, this is an extra small Spes Heavy. This is a small in the HF Armory gloves. They do also make an extra small. Um, then comes to the thumb. Um, you've got this multi-dextrous thumb here um, with three different plates. Um, what's really nice is that the thumb also has a um, elasticy type uh, material um, to protect it. Very similar if you're familiar with the um, uh, with the uh, which ones are they? Um, the sparring gloves. Um, that type of thumb design is very similar to this. Um, internal uh, webbing that's going on here. Um, these HF Armory gu thumb, uh, gauntlets also have a, a band on the inside here to help with keep it allowing you to kind of pull that gauntlet back in. Um, like I was saying before on the Spes Heavies here that you see before me, um, they do not have a hard protection in between these plates with the wrist and these HF Armory gloves do which I find is very helpful. Um, and with like those little bitty slips that will happen um, that typically injure the wrist bone and that kind of thing. Um, as far as fit is concerned, like I said, these guys fit very well. Um, and for wearing them right out of box are very easy to break in. Um, cross post, uh, like the sparring gloves and stuff that take a really long time to kind of like fit in. These uh, break in almost instantly which is really nice um, the material holds up really nice and this thumb just works really well um, it's also very low profile which is nice if you're used to using um, your thumbs for dexterity for instance like going in the shield or throwing zorks or um, just maneuvering about and allowing to be able to use that key turning um, type mechanics um, so I these gloves overall um, just work very well for that. You will also see um, the difference in the plating where the thumbs kind of go in um, is very specific. Um, you can see that plate comes inward on the right side just for where the thumb comes in. Where the Spes Heavies do do that, but like it's not as clean. Um, you can see just how much more size is going on with the Spes Heavy also versus the HF Armory Glove. It's a much closer, tighter fit. Um, so um, as far as pricing is concerned, um, new updated pricing for the Spes Heavies, um, I think are uh, ravering between the $230 range or so, maybe $240 range. That's before shipping. Um, these guys are ranging in the 285, I mean, I'm sorry, 185 to 190 range uh, for these guys before shipping. Um, so all in all, like these, as far as finding glove that actually fits me and it actually allows me to handle the dexterity and to do the different movements and stuff like that with having a fairly small hand size, um, these are definitely a game changer and um, I think that other uh, people out there with small hands are going to highly benefit um, from this heavy glove being on the market. Um, so if you are uh, one of those types of craftspeople like myself um, who really needs that ultimate hand protection, can't really um, get away from it just because injuring your hands injures your livelihood, um, and you need to keep with a heavy gauntlet, these are a, um, a game changer as far as the heavy gauntlet uh, game is concerned. Um, so um, that's my information. Thanks guys for watching.